Hey everybody, Rena Olson here to tell you about a super fun project I've been working on for my client at The Connection in Forsyth County. If you're not familiar with The Connection, it is an addiction recovery support center. So it's a very cool nonprofit that exists to support people in their recovery. So treatment is one part of the spectrum of addiction. Then once um, you make it through treatment, you have uh, basically a whole lifetime of recovery to maintain healthy relationships and consume healthy beverages and food and it's really uh, it can be a, a great time of awakening and rediscovery of self so I am all about helping people break that cycle of addiction and then once they do that to stay in recovery so the connection and the peers at the connection who hang out there have come up with a really super fun idea called the bougie bev alcohol free contest so what we're doing is we are soliciting our wonderful network of people that are creative and talented and we're having a recipe contest for um, a new category of drinks that we're calling bougie bevs so the term bougie means luxurious in lifestyle yet humble in character so we think that's really descriptive of people in recovery okay super cool so what's a bougie bev you ask well first of all it must be alcohol free okay and um it must be handcrafted and in a drink that's not in existence i'm gonna whip up an example to kind of give you an idea of what we're hoping will be some of the recipes coming in um using just really a lot of the ingredients i have in my kitchen right here so here is what i've got going in this bougie bev Let's see, we have the Spindrift Sparkling Water with Lemon. Mm, it's delicious by itself, but we're getting ready to elevate it to a whole new level and make it a bougie bev. I have some frozen mixed berries that I actually put in my smoothie each day, but these are from Costco, about a quarter cup of that. I've got some mint from my yard that I'm gonna use as a garnishment. And then in that tall bottle, I made some lemon simple syrup. And if you've never made simple syrup, it's super easy to make. I will attach a recipe to uh, this video so you'll have that. Okay, and then that uh, device is called a muddler. Okay, let's make a bougie bed. So we are gonna start with an empty glass. Make sure you have a pretty glass to put it in. Okay. In goes my frozen fruit. It's been slightly defrosted, and this is a cup of mixed berries. We're just gonna get in there and mush it up in there. Save the rest, the rest for a garnishment. So I'm just mushing my berries. Oh y'all, that is smelling super delish. So fancy drinks do not have to include alcohol. And the great thing about a bougie bed is you can get your kids involved in this. It's not just for people in recovery, okay? Mmm, y'all. Check that out. We are gonna add some simple syrup. So what simple syrup is, if you're not familiar with it, it's just sugar and water, and in this case, lemon, that has been cooked on the stove and reduced down so it's concentrated. So with all those tangy berries, we need a little bit of sweet. So I'm gonna put in, I'm not, I'm kind of, um, I don't like things that are too sweet. So that was probably a couple of tablespoons, okay. And then we need something fizzy. So in this case, you can just use club soda. But this Spindrift product is amazing and it has natural flavorings in it. I thought lemon would be whew, so good with this. Oh, look at that. Add some ice. Oh, yeah. Come on, y'all. Seriously? Okay. I'm not eligible for the competition, but uh, look at that beauty. Blackberries blueberries, raspberries with lemon simple syrup. Let's give it a taste. Mm, 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 mm. So good. This is a bougie bet. Okay, send me your recipes, bougie 
bab.com. Bye, y'all.